Remember how fun it was to ride your bike when you were a kid? Now, we didn't really think about it back then, but bicycles are vehicles. They can be just as dangerous as motor vehicles if we're not careful. This is David Green from the law firm of Green and Phillips, and he brought his daughter, Kara Beth. You brought your brother's bicycle in. He doesn't know it yet. Well, he does now. So kids like riding their bikes, and I remember when I was little, my mom always said, stay on the sidewalk. Good idea for young kids, but not adults. Well, that's exactly right. We should, we should actually be in the roadway, and that's a, that's a little bit, you know, people think, oh, that's not safe. Actually, you should not operate your bicycle on the sidewalk um, if you're an adult. And if you're an adult, you need to ride your bicycle uh, and, and follow the rules of the road as if you're riding in your car. Mm -hmm. Use uh, Stop at the stop signs, use the yield signs properly, follow the rules of the road, and that's important. So right lane with traffic. That's right. You should actually stay about a third of the way into your lane. Uh, that way people can see you. If they're pulling behind you, uh, they look up, they're, they're, they're trying to figure out what they're seeing. Gosh, if you're all the way on the side of the road, they may not really see you. But if you're about a third of the way in, they can see you. Before you even get out there, safety first. You want to demonstrate how to put this helmet on? Okay. That's a pretty helmet. It is. Our friends at Spoken Trail uh, provided these for us. Uh, you want to make sure that you adjust the helmet in the back and adjust the sides. And, of course, not mess up the pretty hair. Of course. And it needs to fit properly or there's really no point in it if it's going to fall that's, off. That's exactly right. All right. You have this down. Look at you. So you mentioned the helmet. You have that on. What else? Well, also reflective clothing. I know this is not the most attractive thing, but um, reflective clothing. And if you can use something like this type of vest or even reflective shirts, mm -hmm. something of that nature would be, would be very helpful for, for people to see you. You just uh -huh. want to be seen. Of you course. You want to be seen. Uh, one of the other important things is the lighting. Uh, it is required in Alabama in the, under the state law, if you're riding a bicycle at night, to have a front light mm -hmm. and to have a back light. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have those. If you're operating the vehicle uh, or operating the bike um, during the day, you don't necessarily have to have it by law, but you probably should. Yeah, and you called it a vehicle. It really is the vehicle. <laughs> it's right. getting us from point A to point B. So we know we need to ride, again, with traffic, not against it. Man, people do that, and it's just so, so dangerous. You are a personal injury attorney, and if you're in an accident, even if it's on a bicycle. Our firm has uh, seven attorneys that are <clears throat> licensed in various states, uh, throughout the southeast uh, we can handle this type of case we've handled this type of case um, many many times uh, it is a it is very much like an auto crash case you have to investigate it get all the data uh, put together an investigation uh, even some type of um, we, we have sometimes have to hire uh, reconstruction engineers to actually figure out exactly how the accident happened but we can help you green and Phillips law firm phone number is online also some other bicycle safety equipment requirements listed on our studio 10 page on fox10tv.com so check that out before you hit the road